Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and today we are going to talk about how you can delay the process of graying uh, hair or maybe even reverse graying hair. Now we are not talking about that if you have already completely white hair that we can bring back uh, the, the useful color uh, in your hair. That is not the scope of <laughs> this video. It is more to say how can you boost um, the hair uh, color production that you already have. Now I have seen uh, on other people that uh, hairs that have started to lose their color can be more saturated in the color by uh, taking various uh, supplements which I will tell you about later. But first I will say that I went to my uh, hairdresser and I normally have uh, I used to have uh, my hair bleached or highlighted and uh, it took a little while before I came to the next appointment because I wanted it to grow out so that when the hairdresser chopped off all the highlights I would not be bald, I would still just have my natural color. So as she had not seen me for a longer period than normal, she thought I had actually started to color my hair. And I assured her I had not done so. And when she looked at my scalp, as she could clearly see that I had not done so. Uh, but it made me think that I had myself noticed that my hair had become a bit more saturated in the color, more from going, uh, it used to be uh, like more a golden brown and now it's more like a um, chestnutty brown color. And I wondered why could that be? I knew that I was taking various supplements and some of the supplements I'm taking are uh, amino acids. I also take uh, various uh, vitamins. Now I went home and I looked into uh, the growing, uh, the, the graying process of the hair and why does it actually start to gray. And one of the things that you will discover is that there is um, uh, a substance called uh, hydrogen peroxide and uh, hydrogen peroxide I'm sure you are familiar with. It will um, bleach uh, your hair and it will bleach uh, fabric and whatever it touches. And uh, I cannot recommend that you are bleaching your hair with that because it will damage your skin as well. So don't do that. Um, looking at um, various um, articles, uh, I noticed that um, there is in the body there is uh, an extra antioxidant called uh, glutathione. Glutathione uh, works in a way that it neutralizes the hydrogen peroxide and it makes it into water and oxygen. So in your body there are various processes going on and the byproduct of those processes are um, hydrogen peroxide. Now as you age you will have more hydrogen peroxide in your body because your body will not be as good as it used to be to neutralize uh, hydrogen peroxide. And uh, what happens is that your hair follicle, the root of it, will be um, oxidized and that means that uh, you will lose uh, the color uh, in your hair strand. Now, how can you uh, boost uh, glutathione in your body? Well, there are various ways you can do that. When you are eating your food, you will take up uh, a substance called, or it's an amino acid called uh, homocysteine. Now, homocysteine will be uh, converted in your body to uh, another amino acid called uh, methionine. And methionine will in turn be converted into glutathione. Now, in order for uh, homocysteine to be converted into methionine, you need a, a vitamin called uh, vitamin B9. And vitamin B9 is uh, also called folic acid and is called folate. Now folate and uh, folic acid is not the same thing. Folic acid is a synthetic vitamin B9 and in order for that to be converted into the active form of folate in your body, it is quite a struggle for the body to do that. Therefore, the best way to get vitamin B9 is to take uh, the natural form, which is um, folate. And folate will then transform uh, homocysteine into methionine and from there on into glutathione. Therefore, what you would like to do is to boost your body with uh, folate. And uh, the folate that I use is from a company called uh, Life Extension and they have an optimized form of uh, folate. What that means is that Instead of the body itself are making folate from your food into the active form, you can already supply your body with the, the active form by uh, supplementing with the, this uh, folate. Now, 
glutathione needs um, enzymes in order to be produced and in order to uh, to work. So um, what you can do uh, to boost those enzymes is that you can take uh, an amino acid called uh, taurine. The one I use is from my protein and it's 100% uh, taurine and I buy it as you can see in, in bulk because that is uh, much cheaper. Um, what happens is that taurine will uh, boost the production of uh, two enzymes. One of them is uh, glutathione reductase and the other one is glutathione peroxidase. And uh, the um, reductase is what makes the glutathione active and uh, the glutathione peroxidase is the one that is used when hydrogen is being uh, neutralized into water and um, oxygen. So those are some of the supplements that you can take. Now another way to uh, boost uh, glutathione in your body is to directly supply your body with cysteine. So not the homocysteine that you get from your food, but uh, cysteine directly. What happens in your body is that methionine is converted into homocysteine and homocysteine is converted into other products and later down that will be cysteine. Now I just said that homocysteine will be converted into methionine by uh, folate and that is correct but all the uh, homocysteine that is not uh, going through and ending up being uh, converted into glutathione that will be again be taken up by folate and the whole process uh, continues. Now in order to bypass that whole circle then you can eat a uh, cysteine directly so you get in a uh, much lower, a uh, much uh, further downstream of uh, the pathway and uh, closer to where glutathione is actually produced by uh, supplementing with the uh, cysteine. And the way I do that is to use um, uh, in as a tune cysteine from uh, a company called uh, Twin Lab and I use uh, this one. Now this is also a synthetic uh, amino acid and uh, it helps the body produce glutathione and is easily uh, taken up by uh, the body, which is not uh, the same issue with uh, uh, folate, uh, the um, uh, folic acid, which is also a synthetic, uh, uh, that is a vitamin, and that the body struggles a little bit with in order to convert into the active form of uh, folate. But with the uh, N-acetyl cysteine, it is easier for the body to take that up, and that will really uh, boost your production of uh, glutathione. Now, how much do I take of, of uh, these uh, supplements? Well, the uh, N-acetylcysteine, I take one capsule as is recommended on the bottle. And for the life extension optimized folate, I take one uh, tablet also as recommended on the, uh, the bottle. And from the, the taurine, as I have explained in Another video, I daily take 6 grams of uh, taurine. This uh, works very well for me and I have seen it work on uh, other people as well. And hopefully this is something that you can uh, take uh, something away from and uh, it will help you with um, maintain your, your hair color for, for longer or if you have already started to um, go gray or it is kind of semi gray, semi your original color, you can have your original color that you still have in those strands that still produce the color. I'm sure that this will help you uh, gain a more uh, saturated color in that. So the overall look will be a more uh, saturated color uh, in your hair. Um, if you like uh, more of this sort of videos on this sort of top, Subject, subject with the uh, amino acids and, and vitamins and what they, they do for the body and how I use them in order to help my body to stay younger for, for longer. Um, subscribe, hit the bell when I so you can be noticed when I upload uh, new videos of this uh, same sort of uh, things. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.